Oh, Hello, come on. and welcome to the Animated Dudes Podcast. Now let's get animated. Yeah. You're doing better. It's better than your other introduction. <laughs> All right. We're getting spaghetti animated. Oh, mm. <laughs> new voice. Hello. Introduce yourself, new voice. Yeah. Um, me? I'm Random Hero. I'm an animator in New York City. I know a bunch of people. I guess that's it. Woo! Awesome. I'm Yay. also, like, a host of the Tap Podcast. What's that? Um, the Tap Podcast is basically where me and my friends, like, we get together. We just talk about, like, any sort of topic, and it's, it's usually really fun. I'm also part of the Good Podcast, which is another one you should check out right now. Is it good? I think it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, it's I got was, good in it. I was on an episode of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shade, you were on an episode of it. What is this, the crossover episode? That's pretty cool. Um, the one he was on was the one where we talked about Butch Hartman, and I came up with this <laughs> awesome title called For Such a Butch, He's Quite a Bitch. Ah, uh, good old Butch Bar Fart. <laughs> 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 I love that really? name. Why are you all yeah. being so mean on Butch? He did nothing wrong. He's Absolutely just a wholesome Christian nothing. man. Just want to get those good old <laughs> Christian American values. You know cut. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good. And then we're going to cut to Cosmo um, with fake breast implants. So. Oh, hot. Wholesome, wholesome Christian values. Oh, Butch. What, or one of the many times anyone, Timmy got bored. Has, has he just gone silent? Or is he just like kind of like... I've like, actually yeah, this is heard anything from his Twitter like, lately. Mm. On YouTube, I know. I'm gonna just... go check his channel right now. Let's see. Oh, he's doing a video about the fucking CalArt style. Kill me. Oh no. no. Oh, he Didn't beat he Rebel did... Taxi. Let me see. Let me see. I think how many videos has he done on the CalArt style? Mm. But the real question is, how many Jake Paul videos has he done? Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's doing those Jake out... Paul videos. His last actual tweet was like the twentieth of last month. Come, come on, there needs to be a Jake Paul video every oh, no, single no, no, day, come on. Uh, oh my god. July, July 25th. No, it was this huge apology letter that he wrote in pen uh, and then posted on his Twitter page. Oh, and didn't have like some kind of like subliminal message in it, or was that fake? I think it was fake. He's... Some... Oh wait, people, I do kind of see people, it. People like up the contrast on it and they like read between the lines and it was like some kind of like christian holy crap i see it um let me download this and put it in gibral while we talk about stuff it's it's i don't know but what, what are you doing man i don't know i'm scared i'm, I'm scared father my, uh, my, my poor liberal soul it's gonna kill me this whole <laughs> thing with the apology reminds me of the of the jacks films video where he's like it's called i'm super sorry Oh, yeah, <laughs> he just apologizes every month. He's like, "I'm sorry for killing Santa Claus, so I could become Santa Claus." But look, the goal of my content is to always entertain. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about Jack's films, so I'm just thinking him making an apology video every month. I'm just thinking, is, did he say like the PewDiePie word like in one of his videos or something? Oh no, it, he just he did a video called um, "I'm Super Sorry," and it's literally. It's like a five or so minute video of uh, him apologizing, and then it would cut to the next apology, then the next one, then the next. It was it's a Jake Paul parody thing. Oh, that's honestly really funny. It is really funny. I yeah, should check yeah, it, it out. Is. He also did uh, a song about clickbait. The video, the title's something like, um, There's something I need to tell you, and the thumbnail is him kind of like crying. And he's like, I'm sorry, but this is actually a song, and then he goes into like a clickbait. It's like it's really wow. good. I like. It. Oh wow! Yeah. Anyway, what's the topics for today? Fusion um, fall. What kind of news? Oh, for oh, the yeah. fall. Well, don't get me started. Oh, that that vinyl is so. Fusion fall retro. Mm. Fusion fall retro. <laughs> yeah, the <clears throat> long-awaited. Uh, MMORPG Cartoon Network game has been revived from the dead. 
Um, kind of the just like when it was originally released, only the first four levels are out. Mm. Well, so the- Fusion Fall is like I'm um, back. Yep. But MMO Cartoon Network game. Yeah. A fan. Mm. It's a fan remake. Was right. it? What's it called? The the yeah the the new game. Fusion Fall Retro. Mm. It's gonna be. Why is it with Cartoon Network and adding another word after it? Like- Teen Titans Go, Thundercats Roar. That, that was, was the development the team of the of the uh, revival. They wanted to just differentiate it so people wouldn't get confused in the search results. I know. Why don't you just call it Fusion Full Two or Part Two or whatever? Just they're making they're making a, a sequel. I think. Let me. I'm trying to find it's it. It's like doing what? something like Alien, Aliens, Alien Free, Alien Resurgence. It's like not Resurgence. Is it no Resur? Resurgence or Resurrection? It was one of them. Oh yeah, Fusion Some... Fall, Fusion Fall Legacy. That's the sequel, the fan sequel they're making. Okay, uh, okay, that's not that bad. Oh, I have another question about it. Um, do did they keep the same art style or they changed it up? It's the exact same game as bef- as in two thousand eight. So yeah, oh, same man. art style. Oh, uh, if they were gonna like um do the rip off Bleed Man style, they should have at least got um. Bleed Man to do it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. so appa- cool. apparently they can't like use new characters. Like they have to use only the assets that are from the original game because like <laughs> they don't want to get in trouble. Well, they're already kind of like making a high risk, but um, still, um, in their new game, well, it's a Fusion Fall Legacy, which builds on that same engine. They're planning to do. Uh, they're planning to put in more characters, new nanos, and things like that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Has anyone ever played Fusion Fall when it was out? Oh, I played uh, it. It was awesome. Oh, really? Um, I couldn't play it because my computer fucking sucked at the time. Mm. Yeah, same. I could, I could barely run the Emily the Strange skateboarding game at the time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I know, and it is. That's no, really sad, honestly. I truly suffered. <laughs> Wasn't there a Emily the Strange game on the DS? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that was. Yeah, you could have gotten that. I, I, I could have. I had the old DS, the, 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 the bit, like the first one, the big bulky one. Oh, uh, the big bulky one. Do you listen yeah. to like music on it, like Chris Chan? Oh yeah, yeah, all the time. <laughs> That's wonderful. Jamming down the street. Yeah, listening listen to, to the, the latest listen. songs like the abandoned pools and, uh. Uh, the abandoned pools. Didn't they do the Clone High theme? Yeah, I fucking love Clone High so goddamn much. <laughs> like, I love MTV's animation block in general. Mm. Like, I love Downtown. I love Clone High, Beavis and Butthead, Daria, all that stuff. There's one show I don't like. It's called The Head. Oh no, The Head was cool. Uh, it's it's weird. Uh, well, I knew okay, people who weird. worked it's on just... it though. I'm sorry. I'm sure they're nice people. It's just I don't like the show. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, um, um, it's also the Max, the Max, like the the big the the superhero one. Oh yeah, yeah that's another cool yeah. one. Oh, yeah, MTV Classic used to air reruns of a bunch of old shows, but then they stopped. Like they aired Clone mm-hmm. High, the Max. Oh, and, and like... clearly. Hands down, the best show on MTV, Aeon Flux. Hello. Oh, I fucking Aeon. love Aeon Flux. <laughs> I actually have like, I actually have like a Blu-ray of Aeon Flux I got recently. Really? And oh, the, yeah. The TV show. Aeon no. Flux is such eye candy to me. Like mm-hmm. I could just like watch it and be like, ah, like I'm watching it for the first time every time I'm watching it. I guess you like Peter Chung then. Oh yeah. Um. He also did that. I, hang on, I got it. It's uh, fucking what was it? It's uh, the Chronicles of Reddick Dark Fury, mm-hmm. and he also did the pilot to Rugrats. Like he directed it. Huh. Yeah. And you can tell. I, you can tell. It had like better draftsman skills. Hmm. You, you can tell it's for him. Uh, can we also uh, talk about like? How fucking like done like Stu Pickles was in that one like like frame. 
You know what I'm talking about. In the pilot? Oh, yeah, in the pilot. Let me send it to you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, there's this one the face he does in the goddamn pilot, and it's honestly okay. the funniest fucking thing. I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to think. Here, check this out. All right, I saw that. All right. Uh... While you're doing that, um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got no goddamn chin. Yeah. And I fucking love it. Mm. Oh. Who's he, Leafy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Leafy here. I'm gonna neglect my children while I make this new goddamn toy. I'm telling you, this is satire right here. It's too good. <laughs> I'm gonna neglect my children like I neglected my channel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Leave it. Leave it for months. I was gonna say too soon, but like, nah, people don't care anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Aeon. Yeah. Oh yeah, Aeon Flux apparently is getting a live action TV reboot. This is like old news. Why? I don't know how I feel about that. live action. Did they not? Because they're, they, they made them realize the first. Yeah, the first time that they did live action, how it didn't turn out that good. Why they're like, <laughs> we're gonna try it again. Second time's the charm. I don't think it'll be good. I mean, who knows? But like. A live action. This I don't know. Is I think it works more animated than. Yeah, uh, there's no point. The live action. There's not much you can do with a real life. Well, you can do a lot, but it's like the human body has its limits. But with animation, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Also, think of it like um, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Like think of like how the anime looked and how fucking like stellar. Like the shots were, and then when they did in the live action movie, it was so fucking bland, and they had to use like all these colors just to like um, real people mm. in to be like, hey, this is interesting, right? Nah. Yeah, I love Ghost in the Shell. That I got on Blu-ray. It's really good. Oh yeah, um, it looks the animation looks amazing. In, in oh, of course, it's better than that DVD I had for years. Oh yeah. Um, Have you ever known also... people who would like throw out all their DVDs and rebuy them on Blu-ray? Uh, I think my dad does that sometimes, but that's that's about it. I don't know. I've never uh, really done that. I know my brother does that. Like he had like like The Walking Dead on like DVD, and then he mm. threw them out and got the Blu-ray versions. Because apparently, I think they're better quality, and pro yeah. they, I think they have like special features that the DVD didn't. Hmm. Sure. I re uh, somewhat recently, about well, actually, a couple of months ago, I ordered. I brought the Batman the animated series on DVD, the complete collection. Oh, and really? I only found out recently that they're getting the Blu-ray, and I'm like, what's the point? And I also did that with Samurai Jack before they announced their Blu-ray. Oh yeah, I got the complete series on Blu-ray actually. The Samurai Jack. Oh yeah, I love it. How is it on Blu-ray? Oh, oh, it's fantastic. Uh, they didn't do any weird color correction shit that they tend to do on Blu-ray. Um, honestly, it's probably the best way you can watch Samurai Jack. Oh, that's good. Honestly, that's good. But my only complaint is like um. Most of the like seasons like one through four, they're still four by three, but you can't do anything about that. Yeah. Unless no when... unless the show was made in a different aspect ratio. Yeah. No adult swim stretched out the episodes when they were on like reruns. I oh, hate uh yeah. Uh I see a lot of I'm I'm sorry, but I see a lot of YouTube reviewers that need they don't keep the correct aspect ratio, they feel like because my video is in widescreen, I'm just going to stretch out the video. <laughs> uh, oh, and bonus points for still having the station ID in the top corner. Yes. Oh, and it also and also it has to say kiss car scene, otherwise it won't count. <laughs> yeah. Fucking uh, kiss cartoon, my dude. <laughs> kiss cartoon. Uh, it's... It's there. I 
I don't really use it that much, but I don't know. I've mostly seen people who are like, uh, whenever an episode or a show's coming out, they're like, oh my god, guys, you have to support this. You have to, like, give it views. It needs to survive. And yet they end up watching on the Chris cartoon after, mm. like, saying you gotta support it. But does television views even, like, count nowadays? Don't they, mm. like, it only counts when you talk about, like, I don't know, social media? Is that basically um, it now? Uh, more social media but they probably still look at the TV I guess they still look at the TV ratings but yeah because I've seen like TV ratings of like OK KO with their views like it's honestly kind of sad seeing it not make under like the million views it's... they're like getting in like 500,000 or something or like mm. f- like 400 is that in the US yeah in the US because in the UK, uh, people still like to use their TV. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The, uh, Brits refuse to let the TV die. Some like to live in the future. Like, or if you, Unless you live where I live, and apparently we still live in the 1970s, people don't like to evolve with the times. I mm. don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Rip, rip TV. Yeah, yeah. traditional media is dead been dead for a what while. Was, what was like the last thing you actually watched on TV, like, consistently? Consistently? Oh, um... <laughs> I would say Steven Universe, but it can't be even consistent with its own air schedule. Ayo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't watch TV for any series anymore. I'll usually just watch it for weather. I don't know. Um... The only time I actually do it now is with um, when like Samurai Jack came back like I watched it for that also Ball Masters which is a show oh, yeah. I fucking love and now I'm doing it with Adventure Brothers season 7 hmm. oh cool I, one show I watched consistently was is Legion that's just a really good show it's live action it's based on the based on a character from the X-Men it's a really good show okay oh, really. Cool. what's um, it on? FX All right. <laughs> that, that, oh yeah, that 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 classic network. Yeah. One I can I can understand because shade. You need a new microphone. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend like I heard it. I'll be like, mm, all right. I'm gonna assume <laughs> yeah, he yeah, said yeah, sci-fi. Yeah. A- F- FX. F- okay. Oh yeah. Um, a show for me is probably. Oh, Ro- uh, do you know Robert Kirkman? Um, no. He's the Walking Dead guy. I don't know. I only watched The Walking Dead a couple times, mostly with my brother um, because he really liked The Walking Dead at the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, he Robert Kirkman. He had a series called. Uh, I believe it's called The Secret Life of Comic Books, and essentially every episode is about fifty minutes to an hour, and it. It's basically a documentary in each episode. So one could be about Superman, the other one could be about Wonder Woman's uh, creator, to uh, the, uh, like the not physical battle, but like the metaphorical battle between Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. It's still really interesting. I have a feeling like um, Kevin Smith is like any way involved in it. Oh, uh, um, I don't know how to break this to you, but. <laughs> Yeah, I think he is. Well, honestly, no shit. <laughs> yeah. I still can't get over he named his daughter Harley Quinn. Hmm. I don't know what's more nerdy. That old Robin Williams, he called his daughter Zelda. Nah, that's honestly nice because Zelda's a nice name. Yeah. I know, but it's like, it's not a common name. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but naming your it's kid a- like Harley Quinn... Uh, yeah. At least Zelda's like a regular name. Yeah, Zelda's at it's least just, semi-regular. You can tell where he got the name Harley Quinn. I know, but it's like... I know more people... There's, there's Har, The name Harley is more common than the name Zelda. I don't know many... I don't know anyone called Zelda. Well, Harley Quinn is just like um, people... a mixed-up version of the word Har, Har, Harlequin. I'm getting tongue-tied. Oh, God. Oh, like... Like the disease. Yes. The Harley Quinn ichthyosis. Yes. Do you remember that shape? Oh yeah. I uh, uh, 
we yeah we, we looked that up and whew. do you know what's yeah, like the worst someone called their kid what they called their kid twilight sparkle uh, that's not good. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you count that as child abuse? Because I count it as child abuse. <laughs> mm. uh, I I guess so. I mean, the Frank Zappa he called his son Moon Unit. <laughs> that's a fucking kick-ass name. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Moon Unit. Cool. I think like this would also be a kind of a punishment, but kind of a cool name. Imagine naming your kid like Fuggy Nuggy. <laughs> Fuggy Nuggy. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do, though. That's not... Fuggy Nuggy. Hmm. I don't know. That's oh. what I call my Dark Souls character. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oof. Uh, oh, Dark Souls, do you mean uh, Crash Bandicoot? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh, remember when I brought up like Twilight Sparkle? Actually, there's been news recently about My Little Pony. Oh, yeah, oh, so there's this. Ending. Oh, yeah, there's. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you said yesterday. Yeah, like, so. <laughs> There was an animator from My Little Pony oh, right. who recently got arrested for having over 60,000 files of child porn. Wait, not pictures, files? No, actually 60,000 pictures and yeah, over 1,000 child porn videos. That's still, bad. That's still terrible. It's fucking awful, and he got two years in jail. Only two? Hmm. That's what he's giving. That's what they're Is giving one for each years. gigabyte? Or one for each terabyte. Oh, oh my god. god. I what's don't know. The like, if, what's the deal with, like, pedophiles and how the large amount of porn they have, like... I don't know, Jerry Seinfeld. What is the deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, one million pictures, like, five terabyte drives, like... That's not a very good Jerry Seinfeld impression. You can do better. Don't yeah. go to, encourage go to your you. room. We're going to be here for hours, and I only have a few before I have to go to work. Oh, yeah. Um, does the king want you to have a... The king wants my feet to hurt and my wrists to keep me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> have you met the king yet? No, and I think it's a she. Oh. Oh! Burger, burger queen. Burger queen. I'll let her be my burger queen. As we all know, all burgers are queens. <laughs> yes. If they breathe, they're thoughts. <laughs> Do you get a... Oh, is there like a big bargain bin that just has all those terrible Xbox 360 like Burger King games like <laughs> Burger Kart Racer or Sneak King? Oh, no. Uh, I wish we had those. <laughs> <laughs> right now all we have are just nerf toys and not even the good nerf toys it's crap oh oh it's like nerf rebel for like you know for the for the hardcore girls no it's the nerf zombie got, crap and you got nerf for the guys and nerf you got for girls. nerf rebel for the lady <laughs> as the toy ad say on tv I'm glad we're recovering from like this whole My Little Pony thing with Nerf guns. Oh yeah. Just nerf. <laughs> oh Just yeah. Nerf or nothing. Yeah. Has um, anyone ever had like brony experiences though? Uh, I actually uh, like I was one for a short period of time until oh I just oh. it, the show kept making the episodes really fast and I was like I'm not keeping up with that so I just kind of dropped out and started watching something else. Because I got uh, a brony story. Go ahead. Oh no. Okay, so when I used to, when I was in high school, um, there was this kid who would sit with me. He was really big in My Little Pony. This was back when like the Brony thing was like starting. So he would wear My Little Pony T-shirts. He had like little My Little Pony figurines. He would sit at lunch. He would say hello, every pony, love and tolerance and shit. <laughs> that is asking to get beaten up. Even if you were a Brony, I, I that's no asking idea. to get beaten up. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, All right, no. so 
like I, I let him sit at lunch with me and I'm like and he asked me hey how come we don't hang out outside of school I'm like all right sure we'll hang out and then when we go and hang out I go to his place he takes me up to his room he's got my little pony plushies and shit on his bed and then he's like uh you can hang out here I'm just gonna go to the bathroom then we'll head out I'm like all right sure so I sit on my bed I, I mean his bed <laughs> so I look to the right of his and I see an Applejack plush, and there's a hole where the fucking oh. ass is. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, oh no. no. And I ran out, and I never saw him again. <laughs> well, you never know. He might have just gone to build a bear. Mm. <laughs> no. I got to stop it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's messed up. I hate this. I hate this podcast. It's terrible. <laughs> nah, I'm honestly having a lot of fun with you guys right now. Yeah, speaking of My Little Pony, like the, I've seen these like pictures of Gen 5 leak online, and they're I put in VC text. All right. Nobody, like, they, um, okay. nobody watching know. the podcast they made knows what weird VC changes. Text is. I don't know. Like, I think the designs look nice. I don't know if they're going to be animatable because they're really detailed oh yeah that is impossible unless you're going for hand drawn like flash yeah. can't handle that without crashing yeah mm. yeah flash get off, get off flash it was so reliable god damn flash oh then flash. one time I was at Titmouse Studios like like I was visiting them. Next thing you know, I just check out their equipment. They use Flash CS3 because they hate the new fucking Flash so much. <laughs> so they're still using like old Flash. I wonder if like they're using Toon Boom now because I haven't visited them in years. Wasn't Toon Boom free at one point? Oh uh, um, no, no, you're thinking of a uh, Open Tunes. Oh, uh, yeah, that software they yeah, used to make Futurama by, with. Yeah, and hmm. me and Studio Ghibli films, I think. I, d I have it downloaded. I never got around to using it because it's complicated as crap and I don't want to go through all this. I tried using it. Yeah. And I, I just, it was just too hard. Like, I got faster results using Fire Alpaca on my tablet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know. Toon Boom is what I use to animate. Mm. Um, it's pretty much the new industry standard. Good to know. Honestly, it's like the only program like I can really use to animate. I honestly really like using it. Hmm. Good. Um, but but if I want to like, but I also have taught animation before, so I usually let them start with Flash though. But like they call it like they call it like like adobe animate now I, i'm not like pretty keen on it though and then like okay. i had like a bunch of problems whenever i like i would teach a lesson about flash this happened to me recently i had a student lose all their work even though they saved their work and i felt so fucking bad for them jeez Oof. Did they had to start over then yeah they couldn't but... finish like on their final which i which it was coming out like just just fine, and then this shit mm. happened, and I'm like, should have went with CS3. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't really say that, but I said that in my mind. I actually. I was gonna say that's kind of a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I would never say that to them because I can understand losing all that work. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to rip on him, but my dad sometimes does that, and if like. Some, if something bad happens, I don't know, if my computer crashed, my dad would be like, well, you should have tried. God damn. Like, oh, I guess that was a bad idea after all. And like, oh. What's a good, like, um, UK, like, insult? Let me try. Uh, your dad sounds like a scrotum tickler. <laughs> a good old scrotum tickler. <laughs> just, just stick with the Cinema sins. That's racist. I'm sorry. I feel violated in my in my brain. I feel violated in my in my <laughs> citizenship. In your oh, feet. No. Oh no. Oh. My, my sub my subculture white soul. Ouch. <laughs> um, I Ow. feel violated in the feet. Unrelated. Um, 
when you go to Dan Schneider's website, you have to type in your age. What's, what's that? Like? I don't know. Maybe he's got like secret stash of feet porn or something. Whoa, whoa unrelated, unrelated. <clears throat> the views uh, described by the Animated Dudes podcast and its guests are not uh, reflective of anybody else that did not just say what just has been said. Legal stuff. Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, he wasn't, he was actually referring to, uh, George Washington, known for having, uh, on the week, on the weekend, he would go by that name. Yeah, George Washington played a mean cooking mama on the Wii. <laughs> George oh, yeah. Washington for the Nintendo Wii. Rated E10 for just 15 Get it right. I played, I played Hell's Kitchen on the Wii. Okay. Get it right. I wouldn't play cooking mama. I oh, like yo. I play Ramsey. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity on expert mode. Oh, okay. Well, I play um Sonic Brain Ranking. Oh, I don't know. I do like yeah. the Sonic preschool days, something like that. <laughs> God damn! What's that like? One so- educational Sonic game. My Little Sonic. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. It, well, didn't it come out in like the nineties? Yeah, it's it like, was... it like a computer one. Uh, Sonic, let me. I know there was one where. Was it? Oh, like, I remember Sonic like, Schoolhouse. Oh right. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that terrifying was CG. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Sonic's so, voice was like uncomfortably high. Oh, then there wow. was Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World, which I actually played a little bit of. It was on the on the Sega Pico. The Sega Pico. Okay. It looks weird. It's like it's like there's like a pen or something. There's like a. It was an old tablet thing. I don't know. I think it's. I'll have to look read into it. I'm looking at the Sega P- the Sega Pico thing, and it, it honestly looks like a, one of those leapfrog things <laughs> that kids yeah, to learn how to read. A leaf. And it connects. It, does it connect? I have to read up. Um, I think it connects to a TV or something, because because actually the the best it's, Sonic it's, game hands down is Doctor Robotnik's Mean Beam Machine. That's just Poyo Ooh, Poyo. The best one. That's such a I fucking love that game. Honestly, <laughs> I love saying it. It's like Mean Beam Machine. That Mean Beam Machine. Main main machine. I also love that the game they made they used like the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog design. <laughs> seeing Robotnik in his full thickness. Pingus. Did wait, did in the um the box art for that, didn't they change did they change his design ever? Or was like in Japan he looks like the Eggman that we all know What's and love. But in America they localized him for the Sonic Sat AM cartoons that were airing at the time. Yeah. There was like I think that was the that was the game because that was a game where they just for some reason they just changed it like he it, had like black pupils from, and red like, eyes. Yeah, it was like I don't know the mean bean machine design. Yeah. They used no, they used the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog oh. design. Like they got like yeah, Grounder, they got Scratch, they got Coconut. Oh right. Oh, yeah. oh. oh and I was still right. Oh. Like black uh, black iris, uh, red eyes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a terrifying also, I like design. The, I don't know who reference. greenlit that. I, I like the reference in uh, Sonic Mania to Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I love that. Um, oh yeah, when also, oh yeah, when that one boss that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Also, video game Donkey was in Sonic Mania. Wait, really? Yeah, there was. There, a there's certain... a sound clip. Well, like it was a sound, a sound clip. clip. They patched it out. But oh, they did. Why? I think it was. I Donkey didn't do anything uh, himself, but I think it was a request from Sega, just so they didn't associate oh, themselves. Just in case Donkey sits down and stupid. How stupid? Yeah, but for a while, if Donkey's you hung on to a, a a hook in what was the water level? Oh, uh, um, the water level. It was the second oh, th- act of Hydro City. Yeah. I Hydro was, City. Yeah. I think it was the second act of Hydro City Zone. If you held on to a, a, a hook 
well, that drained the water and hit a certain code. I can't remember. It was a classic thing on one of the uh, on an old Sega game. Um, anytime the hands that would grab you and like put you on the speed boost pad thing would play mm. a, a clip of Donkey going. <laughs> it was taken yeah. out of one of his videos. They didn't actually bring him on to do anything. It was just a weird Easter egg. They were it's like the second time I know a YouTuber that I like was in a game, but they they removed it. But this time it was actually in the game, but then they patched it. It's um, uh, Jontron was gonna be in ukulele, but they got rid of that. Yeah, because. but then oh, they, yeah. and then he was put in uh he was put in Hat and Time. Was he? He's actually in oh, Hat and Time know. as a prominent character. He's still there. Or oh, minor, okay. I guess. Whatever happened to like John Tron? Is he alive? He's still alive, making. Well, he's not yeah. making videos. I don't think. He makes videos every like few months, like because there's he puts a lot of production value into them. Like they're really like well Expensive. done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, I think he spends time with his girlfriend. I think I don't know. Oh, he no. hangs out with this one girl on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, like, if you um, go to his Twitter, he's not really doing much. Yeah. Like, Maybe he has a Switch, but sightseeing. that's it. That's all I know. Oh, since I, like, live in, like, New York City, like, there was times, like, I try to, like, run into, like, John Tron, but, like, I also, there's times you can run into, like, Joji, who, aka Filthy Frank. Yeah. Yeah. But... I ended up running into one YouTuber in New York City one time, and it wasn't who I wanted to meet. <laughs> was it Pyrocentral? Yeah, Do you know who it was? No. Team Star. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. oh, no. Did you start singing the can iDubbbz you... song to him? Oh, no. Can you sign my lawn now? Hey, now. You're Honestly, a Keemstar. Um... Get your popcorn. <laughs> I know. When I saw Keemstar, I, did, um, I was like, eh, it's better than nothing. I, I said hi to him and the dude just wouldn't stop talking to me. This 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 little man wouldn't stop talking about like his life, how his like YouTube's not getting the views anymore and shit. Like just complaining DJ about shit. Up. And I'm like, all right, I'm, I want to go now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's you know he's still following you to this very day on oh, really? Twitter. <laughs> yeah, because. And what's yeah, when, when you talk to him, is that why um, I have I had a gnome in the corner of my room for like um the past <laughs> few months now? Yeah, that that yes, yes. You need to like make a that sign is, for your true. house saying this house is gnome free, and anytime Keemstar just comes to your house, he's like, "Dang it!" and has to walk away. <laughs> uh, oh no, it, that that wasn't actually Keemstar. That was actually the director of Sherlock Gnome. Uh, it was like a promotional thing, saying that Sherlock like Gnomes. Uh, that movie did not exist. Deserve to exist. It didn't. How dare you? Hang on, hang on. I'm looking at the reflection of my computer screen right now, and I'm and I just saw like um the gnome just dab for a quick second. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> do you also just see, throw a popcorn um, at it? It'll be fine. Okay. Do you also see why I'm sure. doing the really big grumpy face? <laughs> Mm. Everyone <laughs> says I'm YMS. Like every server <laughs> I've been in Discord, they said I'm YMS. Still a YMS impression, just for the heck of it. Oh my God, we got Adam Johnson. How could we? How did we do this? Hey, it's Adam. Yeah. I can't wait to review that one cool cat school shooting special. <laughs> oh, the Monkey Jones film. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Monkey uh or. Er, for some reason, it, the deal fell through, and Monkey was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to start a Kickstarter, and I'm going to make a, <laughs> a, a movie called Monkey Jones Stops a School Shooting. Oh, my God. And I think he, he also shaved his head to make it look the part. Yes, he did. Yeah. He's going to save the kid. I think what he, a man. <laughs> I think that Kickstarter got funded. I'm oh not sure. It, it, it wasn't was it a Kickstarter. I thought he only asked for like $25. He asked for like, did he ask for like five bucks? <laughs> Just to no, see how like, his Kickstarter got was successfully that? Five. funded. It was 25, I don't know. But the movie, Man. the movie's on his Patreon right now and he's going to release it for free like later. 
Oh my god. <laughs> apparently he just wanted money just to buy a costume. This new character, this cat character, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it was, he, it was, he... it was, I think it was twenty five. Oh my god, really? He was <laughs> gonna get a rubber. He was gonna get a rubber mask. He was yeah. gonna get a rubber mask. But I looked at the like clips he has, like the preview, and it's just Asperger wearing like a like a, 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 a like paper cat mask. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a friend. His name is Mr. No Name. Shout out to him. He was on Monkey Jones's podcast twice because he paid ten dollars to come on. <laughs> oh, he was the guy. Really? He was the. Oh, yeah. Monkey mentioned him. Yeah. So yeah. also like um in the first one, like um that he was on, it was like Soy Wars. Um, No Name gave me a shout out on there too, saying that like um to make people commission me because like during the time like I got robbed. Oh. And I was okay. trying to recover from it. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm doing fine right now. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, that's, I'm doing all right. Uh, real quick, we have another Pretty bit much of news. Recovered. Um, okay, KO, uh, Let's Play Heroes, and Steven Universe Save the Light, you know those games that came out on every system but Nintendo? Yeah. Is getting a is it getting a yeah. double pack Nintendo Switch release? Oh shit, that's awesome! Yeah, you that can is finally cool. play it on a mobile system that isn't a phone. Yeah, that's oh, I had actually a friend release. I had a friend who did like backgrounds for the OKKO OK game. Nice, nice. But yeah, um, get I believe it's getting a physical release on the Switch, uh, a two pack. Do you know when? Uh, cool. it didn't say when. I just saw. Uh, Saw a tweet with uh, box art. All right. Um, and an official I don't know announcement. if that's official news. Um, who tweeted it out? Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, blah 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 blah. Guys, uh, going through the article. Um, dang it, I can't find it. Either way, uh, copy um, image address. This has nothing to do with anything. But what did you guys think of the Teen Titans film? Um, I didn't see it yet. Yeah, All right, it. Teen Titans Go to yeah, the movies. Yeah, I'm probably going to see it soon because I have friends who worked on the Teen Titans Go movie. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think you'll like it. Yeah, yeah, pretty, I, like it. I liked it. Uh, since it's out, I can um, talk about this one thing. Um, I was at Hornet Animation Studios, um, I was, and I saw my friend Benji. He directed a song sequence in the movie. And I got to see it like months before the, the film came out. Um, do you know that song sequence where Robin's singing about how he wants his own movie? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he that he animated that. I like I like that part. Yeah. Oh, cool. You know how the animation looks like really cool and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that one's one scene like, I don't know Benji's a really good animator. I I d definitely recommend you guys checking out his like social media pages. Hmm. Hmm. I think I will. Um, link it to us in the VC chat, and I'll check. Oh out yeah. Uh, All right. Sure. Okay, I got a solid date. Hmm. Um, apparently, it's going to re the physical version is going to retail. Um, it, like it's a two part. It's a two in one uh, bundle for the Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. It'll be released on October thirtieth for forty bucks. Uh, All right, that's not that far. Yeah. Hmm. And if I'm correct, let me see. I'm not sure if like you can purchase them separately on the Switch eShop or not. Hmm. I don't know. I remember seeing like Save the Light gameplay. Um, it like the game looks nice, but it's very slow paced for me. Hmm. And it's I... a it's like an RPG. I I don't like yeah. RPGs. I uh, I was I played uh, uh the the mobile prequel what was it called Attack, Attack the, the Light. Light yeah I played that all the way through um it was okay I like that I know I liked it like I feel like Save mm. the Light an expansion where memory isn't a limitation yeah. and you know the system mm. I feel like with a a bunch of expanded concepts like that it could be a real because I've never played it before um. 
I liked Attack the Light, so I, I'm betting I'm going to love Save the Light. And I could have yeah. sworn... Maybe I got to play through it to, to understand it better. Yeah. I could have sworn, though, when they were first announcing Let's Play Heroes and they were demonstrating it at... Was it E3 or something else? Either way, um, they they somebody let it slip that it was going to come to the Switch, but it never did. Uh, same thing's also happening to like um, the remake of Dark Souls. Oh uh, yeah, Dark mm. Souls Actually, is coming remastered. to the Switch. Crash Bandicoot's already on the oh, Switch. Oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, uh, the Insane Trilogy. Uh, that's a good Dark Souls game. <laughs> Oh my god, don't do this to me. When we have our first con oh, uh, appearance, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> On that Dark Souls spin-off, what's it called? Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> right. I know. Spyro's being a bit hard-headed on staying on one system, isn't he? Uh, uh, is that on the PS? Uh, the PlayStation? Cause I, I, I think so. They might just do what they did with Crash, like, it, it will come out on one system for like a year or so, and then they'll, it's gonna come to Xbox, and then... It's coming to both. Oh, right. at the same time. Hmm. It's um, like somebody's being left out. I wonder who. It, le it leaked, I think, that it's gonna be on the Switch, like on some website. Yeah, like on Nintendo's, what was it? I think it was their UK store. Uh... A description for Spyro uh, was mm. leaked for just a second, or for a few minutes before it was quickly taken down. Because um, I guess, like, people didn't I know. I heard UK, I'm, I'm getting worried. What has my culture done? <laughs> You've let the ultimate truth slip. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, shit, sure, That's what they it. get for being a bunch of scrotum ticklers. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, it's true, but you shouldn't just say. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that a quote from The Simpsons? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's honestly a really good line. Yeah. It's a uh, Marge Simpson said. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, also, I, I feel like in the in the final episode, they should go back to that old original concept to Marge and show that she does in fact have rabbit ears. Yeah. Let's let Studio oh. Classically class the Rugrat Studio class animate Gucci the Pro. last yeah. Animate the last episode. <laughs> classic oh, yeah. Chupo. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Just for old time's sake. Yeah. And then right before the credit, uh it's winter and Homer and Marge driving in the snow and they're like come on we gotta get to our kids uh our kids show and it ties into the first episode it's like a big loop ah uh, yeah it'll oh, never it's... end because it's always looping yeah this is the, becoming the... a mind fuck right now yep first episode started with them going to some going to their kid uh school for some recital for some reason uh, uh, it's like some Christmas show. And then they do the Bartman! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like filled with a reference from every episode ever, all the way on the way to the <laughs> on the way to the recital. And then they die. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Imagine, like, they've had that's John how, like, for um, over 50 the years. will die. Yeah, it's been doing it for, like, 50 years. Imagine on their 50th anniversary, that's how they end it. <laughs> Doing just dying, oh, finally no, then, dying of jaundice, uh, the entire town. Well, well, then the Simpsons will pull a Jason Todd, and Pie Man will crawl himself out of his own grave. Hmm. I have a feeling right. the Simpsons will go on for like, for like many more decades, and they just keep Simps like Matt Groening's head in like um one of those head jars, like in Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can is imagine it, that. Is it still possible to do that with Leonard Nimoy? Nah. No. Uh, technology wasn't hey. at the right point. Hey, look, it's Spock. Hey, hey, Spock, do the thing. <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else we got to talk about? 
uh, uh, I'm looking to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, aside from where is it? Um, we're, well, no, we're normally an animation podcast, but Smash, but there's a Nintendo Direct happening on Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'm excited for that. Ooh. Yeah, I got a chance to play like um, Smash Ultimate at Nintendo World. Ooh. How was it? That's it plays awesome. really nice. Who did you play as? I played as Link, and I also played as Snake. You didn't try Ridley or the no. Inkling. Ah, oh, I should I should have played the Inkling, but I only had time to like do it twice. Ah. How about um? Did you play as Waluigi? <laughs> Yeah, Wal- Waluigi's there. He's nice. He's well. I mean, you Oscar. are Waluigi. He, he's sexy. Because as as Reggie, as Reggie, my main man Reggie, as made the whole game, that all of his own OC, he said everyone is here. So that means Waluigi must be there. If everyone's because why would yeah. why would Reggie like, Reggie's making the game? It's his OCs. Of course he would add Waluigi. So everyone's here. <laughs> Even it... oh, yeah. Goku. Oh yeah, Goku. Yeah. Does that mean Shrek has made it? Shrek has Spongebob. swag, man. Shrek has swag. Oh yeah, fucking Shrek. Time to get Shreked. <laughs> I remember when people used to say um, that all the time. I still say it. That reminds me of an old crappy Rebel Taxi joke where he said, "Why don't we bring back swag?" Shrek was a great movie. <laughs> it's, I know. I, I mostly laughed at that because of how unfunny it was. Yeah. Have you ever just like laughed at something because of how unfunny it was? Like you still got enjoyment yeah. out of it. Yeah. Um, the the scene in Shark Tale it makes Shade laugh as well. Oh oh like... oh yeah. This re- <laughs> speaking of Shrek, this reminds me. Eddie Murphy, like they had to say, Eddie Murphy, are you gonna do another Shrek movie? So like, no more Shrek. I'm Shreked out. Oh. <laughs> did you ask him? Wait, did they ask him about Shark Tank? Oh, do you remember when Jerry Seinfeld getting ready for Shrek 19? <laughs> Shrek 19. Oh boy. Who Yo, Jerry oh Seinfeld. no, sorry. Oh fuck. He was ready for those. Oh, oh sorry. Fucking hell. It, sorry, it wasn't Eddie Murphy. It was Will Smith. Um, how could I? How could what? I forsake, what? How could I forsake you, Shark Tank? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Um, is it reminds me of that meme on Amazon where it's like frequently brought together. Cars 2 on Blu-ray and a tin of baked beans because frequently bought together. I don't know about you guys, but that's a... sounds like Ooh, a good baby. Friday night. Yeah. Cars 2 and a can of baked beans. Can I bean. come over? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, nice. I can't wait to have some baked beans with you guys. <laughs> you, you have to bring your own. Yeah, I don't know. All right, they're my beans. All yeah, right. like, we need uh... someone to spill them, though. Who's going to spill them? Uh, oh, um, word on the street. Uh, shade. shade. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, Shade. When we meet, we we have to do the we have to do the shark tail thing about like, hey, it's okay. Uh, not a lot of white fish can do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking joke. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> it's almost painful. I don't get that because. The fish are different colors. I don't know. <laughs> All right. One... To... Go ahead. You had to put that in somehow. You had <laughs> yeah. to. I'm taking it to the car wash. Yeah. All right. One last bit of news. So uh, I'm, I'm apparently late on this, but there's a new Looney Tunes cartoon, like a variety show, uh, being worked on as we speak. Oh. Yeah. I heard about that. It looks really cool. Are they bringing back Lunatics Unleashed? <laughs> oh, I rem- was it just a short where they referenced that? Yeah. Dang they, it. They, did, uh, they referenced the very first Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And they referenced Lunatics. 
Like, they kept, like, redrawing um, Bugs. Like, uh, they only did, like, two of those episodes, like, Duck Amuck and a uh, one where they flipped it around where Bugs was one, the one being abused by the artist. Like, I love mm. those episodes where, like, it was the cartoon character versus the cartoon creator. Yeah. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. Yeah, those are the those are my favorite episodes. Um, I remember, I remember that before some movies they had CGI like Looney Tunes shorts. I thought, and they looked pretty good. The Roadrunner and the Wile E. Coyote ones. They also oh, yeah. had a few, a few. They had a few other ones, like a Daffy Duck one, uh, a Sylvester and Tweety one. Oh right, right. I remember those. Those model, those three D models were really, really good. Like way better than the ones that they used for like, uh, what were they? The uh, Looney Tunes show. They had the Run- Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote sections there. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Hey guys, like, can you imagine like um when these new things come out? Can you imagine Elmer Fudd doing the grilled cheese? Uh, <laughs> like, uh, they do a no, callback to that. No. No, please no. That that would make me uncomfortable. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, Sandwich. if you please. Grilled, grilled cheese. Who <laughs> said it was bad to to shove your fetishes in a in a scriptment for children? Oh, Dan <laughs> Schneider. I mean, <clears throat> nobody. Oh. Sorry, I meant sorry. I I just did a turkey, Tom. I made assumptions without backing up with evidence. I I do apologize. <laughs> Look at you. Hey, did you do you guys know about my thoughts on did on what? That, I don't know. Me, Tell me, Mr. Turkey Tom. <laughs> he he um he he's a he's a, he's a, he's a pedophile. Uh, don't I I don't really have any concrete evidence. You're just, you're just gonna have to be me. Uh, he he smells. Um, he he wears his jeans back to front, <laughs> and he uh, he uh, he doesn't he doesn't take the pickles off of his burger. I don't know what I can think of. I know. I feel like your delivery is spot on. If you're doing like a turkey tom impression, you're doing pretty good, man. <laughs> Women, am I right, boys? And then there's Monkey Jones replying with, God damn, you're 15! <laughs> Yo, even like this edgelord, Monkey Jones, gotta call him out on being an edgelord. <laughs> yeah. You know you've gone off the deep end if if he had to do that. <laughs> well, why is it called Turkey, Tom? Honestly, I don't know. It's a stupid-ass name. Mm. Hmm. Uh, turkey. <laughs> yeah. Oh right. Can you... I'm sorry. What? Sorry. Uh, I wasn't I'm saying sorry. nothing. Oh. You you were laughing about my turkey Tom. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? He's uh, only a kid. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's like um, turkey Tom's like how like Tumblr. Hand- they just like say how much it makes them upset and they just like don't really back up with facts. facts. It's kinda like that. You don't need facts, it's the internet. Just make it You're right. Yeah. What do you expect me to do? Go on the internet and lie about stuff? You think someone would do that? <laughs> just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, they that... would? Yeah, I think they would. Damn. I mean, I really believed them when they said the world was going to end in 2012. Oh my god. And then they made a movie about it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I can, like, that movie's, like, now a comedy now, 2012. Yep. Yeah. And then, like, the day the world stood still, or, or, no, it was the day after tomorrow. Oh. Oh, You know what made me believe the whole 2012 thing? What? Um, they had like this thing called the O to Eric Cartman, and then Eric Cartman's last thing said, "Oh, and we'll all die in two thousand twelve." I'm like, "Oh my god, the world's gonna die!" 
I look not fondly on that memory. <laughs> one thing I remember from I one one thing I remember from 2012 was that pop song 2012. Mm. Yeah, it's just like people brought up like, oh, the Mayans said this, and I'm like, do you even know who the Mayans? I'm like, no, and no one does. But I'm just gonna follow their beliefs because I don't know. Uh, I don't know, they got tired from doing the calendar. They're like, I don't know, this is fine enough. I'm tired. Let's go home. Let's listen to these really old people that pooped in the woods and died in caves. Is it too mm-hmm. late to make a is it too late to make a film about the Y two K You can make a documentary maybe. No, I'm making a film at twenty twelve. <laughs> What's the next year we're all going to die? Oh. Uh, no, I need to see the new mutants. I need to hear yeah. Despacito 2. Yes. No. Alexa, <laughs> sad. You know what to do. They, Dang it. Yeah, they just like um, make a lost version of Despacito. Oh, Lost Despacito. Mm. I keep saying lost. All over Twitter, and it was like, it's getting comic. more and more abstract and kind of hard and, to detect. Yeah, it's like I saw made a comic, and I was like, "Oh, this is a very sweet comic." And then, and then so comments, is this I looked lost? at the comment. I looked at the comments. I was like, "Is this lost?" I'm like, "No, it's not." But like, I look back at it like ten minutes later. I'm like, <laughs> "Guys, can we stop, please, <laughs> with the loss?" I- <laughs> Everyone looks at the Mayan calendar saying, is this lost now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we got got. Oh. Yeah, this whole Mayan calendar thing was just a big loss, and we just got it now. Oh. Can we can we do another control or delete meme? There's loads. There's, um... There's... Uh, there's... Uh... Yep. Have you ever just taken, like... Control all delete comics. Just like um, only t- take the first and last panel and just put them together. That's honestly yeah. really great. But he runs in. Oh shit! I'm late. Miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> Insert curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> and then like we hear the do 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 do. We'll be right back. Music from the Eric Andre show. <laughs> 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 like, uh, he's, he's, uh, the guy runs. He's like, oh, "Honey, what happened?" He's like, "I had a miscarriage." And then it just cuts to the uh, full house end credit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> stop, honey. What I happened? Like and then she, her her be... mouth opens, and then the entirety of the room just plays. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> oh oh, how would oh, you hi, feel Mark. if like um? Full House actually did a miscarriage episode. Here's how I feel like Full House would do it. Full House, they would be like, oh no, like she had a miscarriage. And then next thing you know, everyone would get all sad and stuff. They talk a life lesson about miscarriages. And then, nope, oh, the baby's fine. Check it out. Here it is. Woo! <laughs> Roll the credits, everybody. It was hiding in her vag- <laughs> It was a prank. We were fooling you. I had to stop myself. Um, Jerry would come into the room like Kramer from Seinfeld. He'd be like, hey guys, have you seen my puppets? Mr. Woods. I'm funny, right? <laughs> Bob Saget wrote that episode. <laughs> modern day Bob Saget. Yeah, modern day Bob Saget. He, was only nah, he probably always podcast. made jokes like that. He probably couldn't like say them. What's the deal? With miscarriages, I mean, the baby didn't light the room that much? You remember when Bob Saget made a March of the Pain Sorry. parody? <laughs> I can't believe he did that. <laughs> Have I you can't... ever just wondered who wants to watch a parody of March of the, March of the Penguins? Oh yeah, there was a parody. Oh. There Surf's was a up. parody of that movie. Yeah, it was directed by Bob Saget. <laughs> oh, uh... no. He had Gilbert Gottfried talk about freezing his nuts off. <laughs> Oh. Now I want oh, to yeah. see it. Is it. Isn't it Farts of the Penguins? Hold on. What was the name of it? Like, 
I, I gotta I gotta look this up right now. Forest of the Penguins, yeah. Forest of the Penguins. Oh, narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, they had to get like some the next Morgan Freeman, Samuel L. Jackson. Personally, I think what? God sounds like Gilbert Gottfried. Ooh. He does. <laughs> you, just, you die and then like you see the pearly whites and the blinding light or the pearly gates and the blinding light. It's like, wow, I wonder what God sounds like. Hey there, young fella. Looks like you finally <laughs> croaked. How's it going, everyone? It's me. Gilbert Godfrey, I'm your god! <laughs> I was posing as a comedian for several years. Several years! Affleck! <laughs> uh, look, it's Kramer from Seinfeld. Jerry! I don't know. Gilbert Godfrey, he told me to do something. I'm gonna jump off the roof! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going I've to just jump! Wondered. No! Do a flip! It's peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> have you remember ever just when wondered... you did that? Yeah. I remember that. Peanut butter jelly time. Oh, no. He, Don't bring Gilbert up that. Gilbert Godfrey did that. Um, <laughs> wait, really? Yeah, Pip, he did that song in a movie, I think. Don't do this to me. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> Do you remember when Brian Griffin did that? Oh, right be- oh, that's a big funny. Ha ha. Uh, right before he got you, you ran over funny. by a car. That was the funniest scene in Family Guy where he got ran over. Yeah. That was so that was funny. Ha ha. And that Love was it. funny when I joined the Facebook group Justice for Brian Griffin. <laughs> what? No. Was it founded by the guy who got Rip Ryan Griffin like on his on his arm? He got a uh, tattoo. I don't think, I don't think that relates. Really... It might be, but I'm not too sure. I wonder how that guy's doing now. Does he mm. still have it? Uh, probably what, got it removed. The tattoo or the. Oh, so he's like the pickle Rick guy who's getting his pickle Rick tattoo laserly removed. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. You you have to have an IQ high IQ to start off with. Something I don't know. You need a high IQ to understand Jimmy Nutrin. <laughs> yeah, you really do. Just an average day in oh. the life of Jimmy Nutrin. Oh shit. The pe the pizza is The pizza is aggressive. Mm-hmm. The pizza is aggressive. Oh shit. Bond with me, Jimmy. <laughs> now I find it's time YouTube for poop lines funding. just like Bond with me. <laughs> they just intimate it, or integrate into my vocabulary to where I'm saying it without knowing where I am. So I'll say things like like when the oil it <laughs> when we fry fries at work and the oil pops mm. back and hits my arm. I'm just like, ow! The oil is aggressive, and nobody <laughs> and nobody oh knows God. what I'm talking about. <laughs> I keep saying. I keep saying this to my friends, which freak them out, but I keep going up to them and like, bond with me, Jim. <laughs> That's how you get a restraining order? Yeah, it is now time for father-son bonding. Bond with me, Jimmy. Yeah. That's... You should tell Chris Chan that, too. <laughs> yeah. Tell um, Chan You that. heard about what happened with Chris Chan at, like, um, two games, right? Uh... He's right, done so, a lot of stuff. Yeah, so Chris know. Chan basically was kissing people without their consent. And pe- and security's like, yo, you can't do that or we'll kick you out. And then Chris wouldn't listen. And they're like, all right, we're going to kick you out. And then Chris just like breaks down on the floor and just stays there. Huh. Is he an insane like a, person? Wasn't it like, wasn't it like a woman, uh, like an anime con that would go around t- like touching men like in cosplay oh, but touching their... yeah the her and she would go on twitter and act all innocent about it and it's like come on you you, you know it's just you're basically groping 
you, you still grow up in the women's too, though. Oh yeah, oh, well, letting boobs in that. <sighs> yeah. It's all because I, you know, I have ADHD. Uh, you know. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. If I was editing the podcast, I'd insert that one that. clip of I Dubs and Tana Mongu. Oh I'm no! Snake. The place where he says, "Are you talking about where he says the PewDiePie word?" Yep. <laughs> the PewDiePie word. Oh. Yeah. Wait, which insert. clip? Wait, insert what? Like, <laughs> do not do this, Shade. Like, uh, okay. like remember when uh, Tana Mongoose, uh, she had a convention or something, and I Dubs went up to went up bought an like a, an exclusive like get backstage pass kind of ticket thing really expensive and he went up took a picture and he said say pewdiepie word and she was like oh my gosh and then she went and over and made a video a bunch of videos overreacting oh and then she also went on stage and said and it was like yeah and this guy had the most evil smile and it kind of like ch- like he kind of gr- grabbed his arm around my neck and wouldn't let me go i tried to break loose but he wouldn't like let go despite the fact that the video had leaked online a week before all this happened or a week before she made any videos on it everybody was like you're full of shit it it shows that from the very beginning and that the one side they're just like like, oh fuck fuck you i dubs fuck you i dubs it's all your fault (laughs) Nah, nobody oh, blames Ian. There's also, there was also instances with Tana Mongoose saying the, the PewDiePie word. Oh, Actually, yeah. the way yeah. she said some of the, she sounded like she said the Keemstar word. There's basically a difference. Basically, the PewDiePie word is saying it casually, and the Keemstar word is basically saying it like um in a threatening, no. and yeah. aggressive way. So she said it the Keemstar word. It's like you know you're stupid, right? That, yeah. like that and she was like you fuck that word she was like you fucking king star word <laughs> you fucking oh cool yeah <laughs> and she's like I never knew it was a racial slur that was her I remember hearing that I'm like that's those I'm are like, actual words that came out of this person's mouth I thought it I thought it meant a homie because I heard people like Macklemore said what the fuck up so you, Even you though you said it in slavery. a hateful manner, you yeah, fucking you don't bro. say homie to say you fucking homie. You fucking homie. <laughs> you you what up, homie? You, you fucking, fucking homie. Home dog. <laughs> oh, it's cool. messed up. Yeah. Fuck six. Remember what this was. Right. Remember, oh, wasn't sorry, this no. an animation podcast? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. But um, before we do that, I just want to say, there's one video that makes me laugh. It's this guy who thinks he's trying to take a picture of himself in the bathroom. He's actually taking a video, and he realized, ah, for fuck's sakes. It's like the most <laughs> British saying ever. He's like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Right, um, Fuck so... Man. I looked through Twitter and Reddit, and I couldn't find any other animation news that happened in the past two weeks, unless you guys have anything. Um, I have one. Do it. So, you know Dan Harmon, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What could this? All right, so... <laughs> something resurfaced of one of, Dan, like, of one of Dan Harmon's past. Like, you know Channel 101 that he used to, like, do stuff for? Mm -hmm. oh yeah so like there was one where dan Harmon made a pilot about him he had a character called daryl and he was a baby raper Hmm. okay um um (laughs) and that's just it just resurfaced and people are like oh my god he's a baby raper did you say channel 101 Yes, Channel 101. Yeah, yeah, it was this. It was that. It was. It was like a comedy, like TV, um, TV, yeah. like comedy. It was a comedy, like film festival, basically. You, they've got on you. I got a question. Uh, random hero, you might be able to answer because I think I think you know them. Um, remember looking up? I wanted to watch that Pizza Party podcast episode of the Long Gone Gulch. 
because I was like, oh, yeah. I haven't seen that in ages. I want to watch it. Uh, and I just, like, some reason, I typed. Uh, I couldn't find it originally. I, I guess I must have misspelled it. So I like uh, Zach and Taylor. and I just I scrolled down and I looked, and it was like a Channel One Hundred One video. And is she? Is Tara? Is she acting in one of the videos? Oh no. No, she, she was never involved in any of those. Are things. you sure? Because there's a there's a YouTube channel called Channel One Hundred One. Skit. I think it. Hang on. It's called the Giggle, and it's about these aliens. And there's a credit that says Tara Billinger. She's got red hair. Or something. Oh. So I'm like. Hang on. Hang on. I need a link to this. All right, hang on, let me get it. I I remember seeing it and I was like, "Is that you?" I maybe. Um. Uh. So it says I'm looking at the end credit. Wait, Goo Gaz? Is it Goo Gaz? Uh, it's Dan. It says Dan, Kelsey, Justin, and Mike. So I don't know. So. Oh, Drake said we need to wrap it up soon. Okay. Yeah, uh, fun the storms. Okay, so do you wanna I don't think we I have any know. questions? I don't think we have any. <laughs> yeah, nobody's Ooh. saying anything today. We're kinda oh. shy Honestly, with, uh, on Monday. Hey, I have a question. Can I ask you guys a question? Go ahead. Sure. Um if you guys can have like anything from like any animated production, what would you want to have from I... Like it could be like a storyboard, an animated animation cell, some model sheets from any show. What would you want? I would want. Ooh, I'd want their sound effect collection. No, 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 their uh, background music collection. I always love listening to ambient cartoon background music. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, like you, like recently, I found out a YouTube channel posts like all of the like SpongeBob production music, like the stuff that you don't normally find. Oh wow! Like the like well, the tune they a lot use for of, like shows. the SpongeBob. A lot of the stuff is like iconic though. In SpongeBob, what about you, Domino? Is this just SpongeBob or is this anything? Like anything. Anything. Oh, um, does it have to be animation? Um, kind of since. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I was. I my original one. Uh, the the original, like the original pages of the Watchmen, the the old comic from the eighties. But uh, oh, that's fine. You can have <laughs> yeah. that too. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> um, the Ray William uh, Johnson maybe, wall. Um, maybe model sheets for the Simpsons, like season one. I think oh, that'd be quite cool, cool to have. Mm. Yeah, nice. Jade. Yeah, I'd want like um like scripts for canceled like cartoons like maybe the character designs for Spectacular Spider-Man and um maybe Ooh. scripts cuz like Carnage was going to be in it, Scorpion was going to be in it. Mm. Oh, random hero. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Let me see. Scrub for it. I'm sure that's her. Hold on, that that does look like Tara. It's if you look at in the description listed, it says Tara Billinger. So I'm like, she also. I I got curious. So I'm like, I, I, I know the one, in. the dark haired girl that does look like Tara. Oh, and it's Nico Col Col Leo. Nico. Who did does to made too loud? Mm. Oh, him. He tweeted about Butch Hartman. So yeah, that it that is Tara. I never heard about this though. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. Um, she's also in the in the second video I've sent in like so like a scene like that one scene that's pretty much it. Hmm. Um. I don't know. I, never, I just randomly somebody was like, oh okay. I don't know. Like I've talked to Tara before, but like um, I don't think Tara's brought this up. I don't know. Maybe it's not that important. Yeah. That's why she hasn't brought it up. It's not important. It's just yeah. some. It's just. A... Just something for fun. Probably something yeah. for fun. 
probably got they probably uh, had some drinks one night and they're like, oh, we're gonna film something. All right, <laughs> that's that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. I think right. that's how Tommy was so came out of the room. Yeah. All right. Oh, can I answer my my question? Um, sure. Sure. If I could have anything, I would want like like model sheets for from like Invader Zim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Jonan Vasquez art is great. I love Jonan. Yeah. I could also I would also want like animation cells from like um the trip out scene from Beavis and Butthead doing yeah. Oh yeah. Um Actually I want some of the backgrounds, the hand painted backgrounds from Samurai Jack. Oh yeah, those are very just, nice. Those are floating around on eBay. Mm. You could just like take any any background you could just hang it up anywhere yep um oh d- d- sorry there's one i don't want to s- spoilers i guess for samurai jack if you haven't seen it yet shame on you but um <laughs> the, the the final shot of jack when he's by the the cherry blossom tree oh yeah that's a beautiful I love that shot. shot yeah that's the, that was so beautiful i just want to frame mm-hmm. there's a it's YouTube- also a really good desktop wallpaper too mm. There's a YouTube reviewer called Iosu. Uh Check her out. She's really good. Uh, she has... I think it's her. In, in the back, she's... Jack. Is that her? I think it was her. I'm, I'm probably confusing it, but it's just... Yeah, Jack underneath the cherry blossom tree, and it's like, oh, so beautiful. So oh, that's a beautiful nice. pose. Yeah. I never really watched Saul, but I know Saul. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm in a... Yeah, I know. She's really... Um, I think I've talked and I've I've messaged her one time because um, she was going through something rough right now, and I messaged her like, "Hey, things are gonna," be... and she was like, "Ah, oh, thank you." Hmm. She invited me to her Discord server, and then I was like, "Oh wait, it's it's, it's public anyway." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, "I'm so honored." I, uh, I just I kept uh, I'm stupid. I keep bugging people in Twitter for some reason. I'm just like, "Hi, I like YouTube." Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can really do this great. Wow. Okay. And this video is great. Okay. And this video is amazing. I don't stop. Um. Okay. Um. Any final yeah. thoughts? Because um, I need to drive to work. I don't know. Thank you for having me on. No <laughs> it was a lot of fun no today. Problem. So I, I don't mean to rush, but like I have 30 minutes to get to work. Okay. And you've got to go on your date with the king right so, uh so oh, random hero queen. quickly plug your stuff hi um i'm random hero if you want to like um follow me on social media i'm not really active on twitter but you can follow me on instagram um links down below cool Ooh. all right thank you for yeah. listening to the animated dudes podcast i have to go to work bye bye Bo- bo's in the house <laughs>